It's time for the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're Justin Henry. Today, I'll be talking about the Los Angeles Rams and their top three fantasy football options heading into the season. The Rams won the Super Bowl last year, and they had some great fantasy options, but I'm going to give you three that you have to have on your fantasy football roster heading into the season. The first I have to talk about is Cam Akers, and right now he's being drafted as like a third, fourth round running back, depending on your league size. And for good reason, he was a second round pick. We know that McVay loves to run his running backs and he looks really awesome his, running, his rookie season. He did suffer an injury. And so coming off an Achilles tear, we had to see what he looked like. And he got a chance to play in the, pre, in the postseason last season. He did struggle a little bit to the tune of 2.6 yards per carry during that time. He had a bunch of 13 carry games, he even had some 20 carry games. So we know that the Rams want to get him back involved. He's had an off season to recover. Now, I still do have some concerns. Darrell Henderson is in the backfield, so I don't think he'll get that full workload that we're looking for. And at fantasy purposes, that's really all that matters. But in real life, this team's trying to win a Super Bowl. So they need Cam Akers healthy. Draft Cam Akers as a fourth or fifth round pick. I'm fine with them there. Just don't expect too much this season. Unless he pops off in the second half, I think they reduce his workload. The Rams also got Allen Robinson this offseason, and he's primed for success with this Rams team. Now, he did struggle a little bit his last year in Chicago. A lot of people dropped him in fantasy last year, but he's been a reliable source of fantasy production over his career. We've seen him have two top 10 seasons in PPR formats on the Bears. So we know with the new quarterback, with Matthew Stafford, and the way that he can provide you know fantasy relevance for any of his receivers, we know Allen Robinson can have a really good year, and he's going as the wide receiver 28 right now, which is crazy to me. I think we move Allen Robinson up your drafts. Make sure he doesn't fall too far. A lot of people might be sleeping on him or fading him just because he had a bad season last year. I expect Allen Robinson to look more like his old self and produces a very at a very high level, especially serving as the wide receiver two in this offense. We've seen Matthew Stafford be able to carry two wide receivers, whether it was Robert Woods and Cooper Cup or Odell Beckham and Cooper Cup. Even Van Jefferson had value, so don't sleep on Allen Robinson heading into your drafts. The last player I have to talk about is Cooper Cup. Triple crown winner, led the league in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. Led the fantasy community in points per, points per game and in points. So we know Cooper Cup is that dude. Do not let him fall in your draft. Obviously, there's a lot of questions. Is it him or Justin Jefferson? And everybody's looking for the brand new toy or expecting Cooper Cup to just fall off. And I don't see it happening. I think Cooper Cup has the same type of value that he did last year. Maybe he doesn't put up the exact same numbers, but it's going to be really close. Remember, him and Matt Stafford are boys. He just got paid. Stafford just, just got paid. So these guys are happy, ready to lock in with each other for the next few years. Allen Robinson coming to the team actually opens things up a little bit more for Cooper Cup. And he's always open, man. Cooper Cup, the wide receiver one for last year and probably this year too. Make sure he doesn't slip too far down your drafts with everybody chasing the Justin Jeffersons, the Jamar Chases of the world. So... Let me know your guys' thoughts on the Rams offense, and if you guys have these as your top three players as well in the comments, make sure you take advantage of the offer below, and we'll see you on the next hurry up.